who changed the What's place that? you go to become a superstar, right? Like, Ecstasy is the place you go. I, unless I don't really know what they're up to. Where, like, MDMR can be the place you go if you're an actual interesting person. I don't mean, I don't know how I can say that in any other way, in, except for what I'm saying it, you know? Mm -mm. But that's, right, just, I get, I get, that's just an I get. idea in my head. Hello, Bella. How are you? I'm good. Still trying to wake up. Hello, hello, hello. Gotcha. I'm good. I'm good. Um, I just wanted to talk to figure out, you know, where where me and you stand right now because i feel like every time we've had a conversation i don't know i don't know if you've come away from it in a in a feeling a type of way or something oh no so i'm more oh, okay no i tried to get with a uh, saint and harlow last week so we could have uh talked about like what to offer you but then i had talked to you and you said that you had talked to sk and then i was gone for the weekend so yeah, yeah, yeah. no it's more more just a case of like yeah like I don't know. This place, from from the conversations I keep having with people, is like everyone's just like MDMR's dead. Like I suppose I was in prison with Denzel today, and he was like MDMR's dead. Like <laughs> until it yeah, gets get a that. full a full, and I'm, that's not saying you anybody here, me included, killed it. It's just that it's it slowed down a lot, right? Yeah, I think we're all just at a weird place right now. But I mean, um, I should be here consistently from this point forward, like I usually am, hopefully, ideally. And then what we got the, is that every Wednesday, uh, Raiden? Or is it just this Wednesday? Uh, it'll be every sec, it'll be every second Wednesday. Okay. Hell yeah. Just to so save at least we got some stuff going on soon and getting worked on. But so. the, the, the question, the question, Bella, that, that Fix brings to me is, um, mm -hmm. And and I, I've heard I've heard from both of your sides, and I'm I treat treat me as a mediator because I want to be able to help both of you figure out whatever we can do for the label, right? Mm -hmm. Fix wants to come back. He doesn't want to step on your toes. He wants to understand where do you need help from him to help MDMR, and where can I also be help helpful in that aspect? And how do we present that to whoever we need to to get MDMR? running back with people like what what are those next things that we need well honestly i just need to continue to make the connections because people don't know me as much as they know fixer so i have to continue to reach out to people as i as i can um fix like are you in sk cool like are you able to come back or i'm still well last time we spoke i'm still i'm still waiting for, for way my next conversation with him um okay. yeah i don't think I, I i mean i still think it's gonna come from a pl place of it's gonna be a lot easier when if i'm like well we're working on this the, the the whole sk thing isn't really a um a music thing it's more a respect thing between me and sk he, he's kind of mm, lost the respect okay. for me because i quit mm -hmm. you know and like, like he said to me it's more a case of like he wants to see me step up as a man I get that. Okay. Um, it's not. I don't need to prove myself musically to get my job back. I don't need to prove myself. Um, I imagine loyal, not loyalty, musically stuff like that. No, no, but like that's not that's not what it is. I think for him, from his perspective, it's more a case of he was stealing money from the company for months. Yeah. Like everybody knows that, right? And I never stood up to him, and I think he kind of wants to turn me into somebody that will stand up to him. And we'll say, yo, like, no, you ain't doing that. Like, on if you are, no, nah, bro, we're gonna, we're figuring this out, how we get the money back type situation. I let things with him, especially because he was my boss, I let things go a little bit too far. That's kind of what me and Raiden were just talking about as well, which was saying, like, we need to, um, if, I, if I can come back and stuff, whatever, like, we need to figure out the best way to have Mandem involved in the company for all of its positives but to negate all of its negatives and how do we figure that out you know yeah because i, I don't know i don't know where you guys stand on the whole the the, the stabbing situation I don't, I, we've never i don't think i remember where you guys came down on it but from my perspective again it's just like it's, it can't happen we can't have anybody oh, yeah. especially man them come in and stab our own people if you don't like what they're wearing or what they're doing or what they're saying bring that to management okay. but oh no no i don't care about that um but do you know what i mean like yeah 
we can't, you can't, you can't stab. Like, there's, there, when man didn't go to war, we have enough gangs coming there trying to fucking kill us and shoot us, mm-hmm. as it is. Those, we can't control. The gang that owns, part owns, I don't, I don't even know nowadays, the label, mm-hmm. like, yeah, we should feel safe from them. You know? Yeah, I agree with that. I think uh, gang should should stay outside. Where are the brakes on this car? Like, Sorry. Completely. It's raining, oh bro. my god, this radio solo. <laughs> oh, Sorry. Uh, I mean, so what was the original question? Like, what could you do to help us? Is was the question, or what do we need from you? Or it, it's, it's really if, if I don't know how to... wants to come back. And in and in any capacity, whether it be artists or management, like what what do we need to do to do that between the label, yourself, fix, like what what's missing? Like what what do we need to do? And and if you want if you want him to come back as well, because like yeah, fix, I would love for him to come back. Express that he wants to definitely be here. Uh, we just need to understand like between everyone here and and then through the manager or through the the ownership, what that means what's happening next and i think between the three of us right we're, we're a powerhouse like between the three of us we'll be able to do pretty much anything that we need to mm-hmm. and then if, if hollow's around to help uh, as well like if we get uh, someone else to help out with financials in the interim as well like all of that i think we've got the, the ability here i like i said to the fix before i with the management shifts and changes not not your part, Bella, but just in general, it felt like there's a lot of chefs in the kitchen and, yeah. and everyone likes to talk, but very little was getting done. And I, I'm not like there's no one, no pointing of blame. It's more just how do we now take ownership of what we can and can't do? And how do we get past whatever this has been so that one fixes back at MDMR in any capacity that helps us do what we need? To. I mean, I'm I would love for you to come back and whatever position you feel is comfortable for you to be completely honest this is look between the three of us again this isn't why i've presented but this is this is how i like in my head yeah mm-hmm. we saw out this board of directors and get sk and um tommy and like i just said to raiden tom i feel like tommy and patar are kind of interchangeable mm-hmm. in a way because you know we know well, I don't know if you know or not, but, but most people know. Patara is like the second in command in, in Mandem. Mm-hmm. And so he's the leader when Tommy's not around. To me, those two are kind of interchangeable. So it's like, I kind of look at Patar looking after the label for Tommy while Tommy's not around, you know? Yeah. So my thing is like SK, Tommy, um, slash Patar, I think Eli because Eli is an OG artist in the city and obviously an OG artist at MDMR, and then two non mandem members on the board. So we have five people on the board, and we kind of use those as like, those are our bosses, but the three of us are the ones who are in the CEO, CMO, CFO, no, CM, CEO, CMO. One of those things. CMO, oh, fuck, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. those positions, yeah. like, and that's where we slot ourselves in. And then it's like, we run the label, we get we get shit popping, we do what we got to do, and then we present whatever we do each month to the board of directors. Um, and then we, and then we have that very clear distinction between if we're having a meeting here for MDMR, it's like, well, there's no there's no reason for Mandem to be here. You know, there's literally no reason for Mandem to be here for yeah. that. Like, and if they, and I'll I'll openly say, if they want to be, no problem, but shut the fuck up, like. I don't like, and that's and that's kind of how I'll I'll say it in a way of like, you want to be here because your name's on the door, no problem, like sort of thing. But let us run the label then, like, yeah. don't don't then speak over or do the dumb shit that some sometimes happens. Sometimes it's fun, but there's time and place for it, you know. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I just I just I look. This is what I was saying to Raiden as well. Was like. The people who had a lot of objections about how certain things were going left the label at the first mm-hmm. chance they could. Like mm-hmm. Chloe and Pixie, they both ran off, right? Yeah. Like that's that's the yeah. Their strong opinions and they they, they had to... yeah, but they but the thing is they mm-hmm. didn't just give their strong opinions. They gave their strong opinions, influenced people, and then left. Yeah. And I think that's what frustrates me the most. It's like 
So your opinions were listened to, taken into account, and yet you still just decided to walk away. Yeah, I feel like whenever I, I don't know, whenever I talk to her, whenever, Chloe specifically, like whenever she left, like, I, I don't know, I feel like her, when I asked her for her feedback, I don't feel like it was exactly how she felt, <laughs> if that makes any I, sense. I think the truth of it is she has friends over at uh, Wu Chang, and yeah. that's where she wants to be. Yeah. Like generally, I like from from what I can see from the outside looking in type situation, it's a case of they've got a studio that's full every day. Um, when she's awake, uh, later on in the day, the studio's full. Why would she want to? She doesn't want to be a part of a building. She uh, a building something. She wants to be a part of something that's already made. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I said to Aiden as well is, I think we should move away from, um, just signing people for the sake of signing them, so we can have this fat big roster we should sign people who are interesting, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, people who are interesting, people who have something to say, people like, yeah, cool, you're an amazing singer, but do you have a personality? And I think that's what MDMR should be built off of now. It should be built off of interesting people who have musical talent and have something to say, if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I get that. Like the next person who hops off the train, and we use their intern, the intern um, time, we use that as a um, as a time to like feel out people in terms of not not what they can do musically, more on, and we won't tell them that, um, but not what they can do musically, more on who are they as a person. Are they just gonna are they just gonna sit in the studio and try and fucking farm tickets? Are they gonna be the type of person who's gonna go out there and if we give them a bag of mixtapes, are they gonna go sell those bag of mixtapes? Yeah, we need people that are good with other people to be well, that's in, uh, that's yeah. the only mm -hmm. way to grow. That's the only way to grow, you know? Like, are they gonna go get a job at Hayes as well? Just because they're they're an up and coming singer, rapper, songwriter, or producer, doesn't matter. Like, you need to be out there. That's gotta be the main thing. You are out there building you know yeah that's, no, that like I say, thing. Yes, yes, and that's and i think that should be the number one thing we care about like whether use addy for instance right i love addy i didn't give addy a job because he's a talented artist let's be honest like i gave addy a job as an intern because he was an interesting person and i and i would rather have 10 addies around this studio who are okay musicians don't tell him i said that he'll cry <laughs> um but okay musicians it, but they've got an interesting personality then five beyonce's who are fucking bland and boring and just going oh my god yay slay whatever you know like yeah and i feel like that's just how we can set ourselves apart um compared to everybody like we know what wu-chain brings we know what ecstasy brings okay what is mdmr it's a group of people it can become a group of people and places that sometimes can be a bit chaotic sometimes there's going to mm -hmm. be arguments sometimes there's going to be routes but let's not make that the reason why you leave instantly yeah you know like you need people with strong personalities but also people that are not just going to quit because there was a falling out once as well you know and i'll yeah. be honest pixie's top of that list for me i know you don't really like her i think bella oh I, i'm indifferent about her to be completely okay. honest the yeah, only issue like, I had was whenever y'all were all drunk and she tried to start like mouthing off at me about everything being my fault and shit. That's my only issue. Yeah. Other than that, I think, yeah. Yeah. I think from now, like from a position of power, cause then, and that's what you're in now, right? Mm -hmm. Like, let it, try let it be water, water off a duck's back. Yeah. Like, I ain't worried about it. Artist comes in, does something stupid. Like, we support them in the best way we can and then we make whatever the situation is and we move on from it, like sort of thing, as quickly as you know, the mm -hmm. situation is uh, prepared for, I guess. Yeah, I tried talking to her whenever she, whenever I found out she dropped her keys uh, at the meeting and stuff like that. Because it was Denzel that told me. I had no idea. Um, mm. But, like, days later. And her reasoning was that she felt like the meeting wasn't any of her business and she used the finances as an example. <laughs> like, do you not want to get paid as an artist? So I think her issue was just misunderstanding how the label was run like that uh, we wait for 
payment from the government for radio submissions and stuff like that. Like she didn't realize it. And I tried to explain that to her, but. From the conversation I had with her, because I spoke to her afterwards, mm -hmm. it was more a case of it's none of her business how the label made money because that's the business side of things, right? And I do yeah. agree with her. Oh, really? yeah. I like, get that. We, and I think that's another thing that I like, I would want to like stress to like the three of us, especially, which is like, that's not the way we make money. Like that shouldn't be our only bankroll. Yeah, I get that. And I mean, I think honestly, I think that whole topic was just misunderstood because people yeah. are asking for their money from radio submissions, but we only have so much in the bank and yeah, we can't but... pay everybody out until that gets unfrozen. Realistically so though, explanation. um, that's been unfrozen for a while now, by the way. I spoke oh, it has. to um, yeah, I spoke to the deputy mail. Uh, there's no such thing as um company grants anymore, and that's all been situated, so you can put in budgets for that now again. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. but yeah, that's that. Uh, shit, what was I gonna say? Fuck. Um, shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's so annoying. Sorry. No, not okay. you. <laughs> it's more my <laughs> stupid brain. Um, shit, what was I gonna say? No, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's we need to come up with um fun interesting um interesting yeah different ways to make money for the company that we run you know and i think mm. that's what the board of directors would be really cool thing to do each month because it will be a case of like bringing the three of us together and being like all right i'm gonna take a team up north you're gonna take a team down south you're gonna take a team to the, to the, to the south side they see between us we'll have three different teams who can sell the most mixtapes and then we'll pay out a bonus to the staff members just little mm -hmm. things that keep them motivated yeah me and raiden's been talking about going out and just stopping at a bunch of places playing some music and then just connecting with people just our yeah. schedules kind of been colliding lately but i'm hoping that i can actually be around more now no 100 i think i think, I think it's that would like, be fun there's just little little there's lots of little things that we used to do that made us very different to mm -hmm. um to you know other places yeah so yeah, yeah i, don't I know. think so you want me to be completely honest yeah i do really want you back <laughs> like i really want you back over here like, I, I want to do my best in this position, but, like, I really would have liked your guidance from the very beginning if you really did want to step back. Like I feel like... I feel like I could do a good job if I was shown how things were done, if that makes sense. Yeah, I got you. I get it. Mm -hmm. I do get it. I... Like I don't want to say thing that, that I'm scared. The thing I'm scared of, yeah, between me and you, yeah, is I don't want to come in and then railroad you. I don't want you to feel like I'm railroading you because I've got ideas, yeah. or I want to change a bunch of stuff. I feel like I don't want to come in and take away your position either. Is another thing. I don't need. I don't want. I don't want your position. I more want the CEO position. Yeah. Does that I make think, sense? Yeah. I think and I think and, and I think because that way it's a case of you're not losing your position which means you're not you don't then feel like you've just been you know i don't know not taking advantage of but like you've not been heard you've not done anything so now you're losing the position so you're not losing anything raiden's not losing anything realistically we need a, we need a ceo that can actually um and i think we i do generally think we need two ceos i think we need one ceo for now times and then i think we need another ceo for um next storm yeah as someone who is around next that's, but that's that's long-term goal mm. right that's long term yeah that's really something i wanted to work on like and one of the first to-do list things is get people noticed and get people on the next storm yeah like, which is, which is one of the hardest things ever mm -hmm. especially especially with these hours you know yeah exactly no exactly exactly but yeah i think from from my point of view is i don't want I don't want to say to you, oh, I want to come back, Bella. Yes, I want to come back. Mm -hmm. Fix it. Where do you want to go? I want I want my job back. Because me having my job back means you lose your job. Yeah, I I know. I, that, I and know that doesn't mean. that doesn't work. That doesn't work for me either. Like that's not fair. I can't quit and then come back crying one day and then be like, oh, well, I deserve my job back. I've been no, you fuck you, I quit. There's got to be consequences to that, right? Which mm -hmm. for the last five weeks there have been. Like yeah. <laughs> it sucked. But 
you know, we're not we're not there yet. But I just I just want you to know I'm not gunning for your job. No, I'm not I know. For Raiden's job, I'm not gunning for anybody's job. I just want to build. I want to yeah. build this company back up to what I know it can be, with a lot of changes. Which is mm-hmm. honestly starting again. It is literally knocking down the roster of what we have and bringing in people. I know for a fact I can get Pixie back. Okay. I can get Pixie back. Like, I know for a fact. This is... I can get Pixie back. I think if I work hard enough, I can get uh, Dick back. But, oh, that's the other person I want to put on the I was, Dick. I was thinking about contacting him sometime this week to talk to him and kind of see where his head's at yeah. with the company. Do it. Do it. I know he's around next storm now. Oh, um, he is. More than this storm, yeah. Yeah. I tried calling is... for when I was around for a little bit the other day, but he didn't answer. So, yeah. Try to reach out to him again this week. But as far as title goes, like, it, the letters really don't, like, I appreciate the letters and I appreciate, you know, I, I want to do good in this position. But as far as the title goes, like, it doesn't mean as much to me as actually just doing what's best for MDMR. You know, no, I, get, I love this I get place. That. If no, I'm, I, do, I get that. It doesn't matter what letters I have by my name, you know, like I just want to I want to do the best I can in general. <laughs> like no, if I'm not if I'm not fit for COO after giving it a fair attempt, then I mean, so be it. I, it's not it, it really doesn't matter to me to that extent. You know, I don't want to disappoint people. And I'm like now that I'm able to actually be here consistently again, I'm hoping that I can put some more ideas in motion. Yeah, I got you. I like 100%. I I get. I'm I'm learning like I cuz I have no idea what exactly. You know, I know you did a lot more than what we actually was aware of. So it's like I'm trying to navigate through the ins and outs of this position and it's been fun. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine honestly. <laughs> no, I do. I think I think there's a strong core here between the three of us. Um I think the most important thing is just is being around. Um mm-hmm being around consistently and that's that's what always annoys me is when people speak up um about certain issues at the company when they're not even awake it's like yeah you you're very quick to to say all this stuff or hold meetings or whatever when there's things going on but you're not here every single day the way the three of us are sort of thing yeah so yeah i mean i think this has been a good talk so i do appreciate you taking the time to speak to me honestly and um i hope we can we can build from here honestly Honestly, like so. right right now, I, and the other thing, the other thing is just my in my head is like I'm no longer comparing myself to Wu Chang. Like we're on a total different trajectory. Like they are who they are. Let let us be who we want to be. And if the the award show's coming up, I'm sure like it's getting to the end of the year. Oh, if we're shit, not nominated, yeah. no problem. Like I'm not gonna kick. I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna get upset. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. get annoyed. I'm just gonna let them do them. If if Pride Month comes up. And we're not included, we will host our own Pride event. If, I don't know, fucking tomorrow there's a fucking boat show and, you know, we're not invited. Okay, we're not invited. We'll do our own. Like, and that's kind of where my head's at now. Is I'm, I'm, I'm no longer going to get upset about not being included in things just because I feel like we should be. I'm just going to do my own thing. And whether that means it's going to be 10 times smaller, so be it. Yeah, uh, I talked to like whenever everything went down, I talked to Party and talking about he asked like what I want to see from the the awards. And I was like, I want us to be considered <laughs> like I want our music to be seen, heard and considered like that because I mean, we have really good music. And yeah, I don't I don't want it to be a Wu Chang thing, just like you don't want it to be a Wu Chang thing. So hopefully that. I just I just don't agree with him. I don't agree with the CEO of any record label owning the music awards. I don't care what anybody says. It's wrong. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I also think I'm gonna talk to a governing body about getting some music le- uh, legislation put in place. Mm-hmm. About um, I don't know if it'll happen, but I definitely want to bring it to people's attentions. Because I do think Wu Chang have a extremely huge monopoly on the industry right now, and yeah, do. I don't think it's um, right. 
and I think there needs to be some sort of legis- uh, le- le- legislation uh, brought in as a anti-monopoly clause for music labels. Yeah, like what you when- think in like a, a max number like on a roster type of thing? I think so. I think, I think I that think, would be fair. I, I think... I'm not saying it will happen anytime soon, but I want it to be something that is considered in the future. Um, Because I just don't think stockpiling artists is healthy for anybody. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't know what that amount should be. I don't know if it should be a hundred. I don't know if it should be fifty. I don't. But to me, them, everyone just getting upset and running to the next label isn't healthy to anybody. If it should be a case of like. When you're signing somebody, like you know that you are using up one of your slots. Yeah. And like and not that's just handing out want positions them. to it, and you're not just handing out contracts to every single person at every single minute, you know? I think that would be a really helpful thing to put in a place. Like and I think it would make you more selective on who you bring in as well. And then after so long of, you know, being, you know, gone or not around, like Well, you know, yeah, when, you when would people go... will actually get released. If you if you're on LOA for six months, you're like well, yeah, we need we, we need, need to we need, we, need, we need to we need to we need to sign this new artist. We need this. Like, yeah, I think I think it would be I think it would be so healthy for everybody. Who would you talk to about that? Getting that in place. Um, I don't know. I think you I think you you probably have to. The, it, it'd be the, the uh, mayor's mayor office. mayor's office and people like that. Cerberus, okay. I guess, as well. Okay. Just business people. I think yeah. Molly, as much as me and Molly don't always see eye to eye, that is something that we're both very um, on the same page about. Um, because again, we both have built record labels and are, and are trying to bring other artists to other labels. You know, and you know how hard it is to convince you. Well, you both will know <laughs> like yeah. how hard it is to bring anybody in. Like it's just it's such a struggle. And then when you do one mistake, it's like. Fuck you, we're leaving to a train. It's like, okay, yep. great. Yep, or like one like, thing there's goes no wrong. Inte- or... There's no integrity. There's just no integrity at all when it comes to, to ice, and it's not right. Yeah, I agree with that. It's it's frustrating. It's so frustrating to everybody. Not just, you know, the people in charge or not just them. Like, it's frustrating because, like, even, like, the artists that we have signed, if we don't have a lot and we're not making momentum... Mm-hmm. Like that means that we all suffer, and I hate 100%. to put it that way, but I mean, you know, we all are responsible for our own success in a way, but or in the majority, but you know, we also have to bounce off of people. We can't just do performance with, with just us. Like we have to network and get the name out there. I also think you being the like, you being the, the liaison between us and Wu Chang would be very healthy. Um, yeah. I, like I, I don't fuck with them. I don't, I don't <laughs> like them. I don't. I like, there's not, there's, there's not a. I say them. There's, it's not all of them. I have a lot of respect for a lot of their artists. Bimbos, I respect the shit out of. P money, I respect the shit out of. Like even, even, even little C's. Like I'm, there's people I respect over there, but there's people over there as well that I just think are words I shouldn't say, so I won't. Um, <laughs> you know. So I I do think having somebody here who can liaison, um, oh I'm happy to, to do that to do shows with Wu Chang and build relationships with them and collaborations and all sorts. I do think that would be very healthy. Where because right now I I can openly sit here and say that I am I'm not that guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like I can come and be at the meeting, but someone else has to do the talking because I can't. Yeah, party party did did <laughs> express uh. That y'all relationship whenever I talk to him. No, but Kai, but that's the thing with Party. Party's fake. Because Party's never expressed that to me. Well, I think he most like talked on like the experience with like the frustrations that you had openly with Wu Chang and stuff like that too. Like about the um, the Pride events and stuff like that. I yeah, that's what it was based but, off of. But I never told Party that. Oh, well. One of those he said, she said things. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, my. Yeah. Uh, well, it's weird because I only ever, t- I only ever, I only ever told man them that. I only ever told man them mm. that. So unless man then went and told, told him that, I don't know how he knows that. 
because only the only people I told about the oh no that's not true I had that big meeting here and uh, Issa was here so maybe she told him yeah I have no idea and I mean I don't exactly remember no, exactly how he put it so like don't quote me on it but I mean that was the gist of the conversation unfortunately I have I have a phone call recording of me and Party talking about the award show and him openly admitting that he will be biased really I have a phone call recorded and I have proof of that. So yeah. Ooh. I don't I don't I don't really know like that's the problem with me and party is I try and I today CSA had an event um for their new um their new what's it called? Um their new uh, chain members and it was an ecstasy event pretty much, you know, and K one performed as well. But I was there. Because I like to support the industry. Wu Chang don't like to support the industry. Wu Chang like to support Wu Chang, and I I think that's wrong. Mm-hmm. But I agree with that. That's the way it is. It's just a, like they expect everyone to show them love and respect, but they don't show any to anybody else. Yeah, I'll I'll do my best to connect with them more and yeah. try to build that relationship a little better. That way, hundred percent, we can start being included in a more fair light i guess you can say yeah hopefully like say, ideally I'm, even even the fairness sorry uh, raven i totally interrupted you so i do apologize please please what you saying about Polly? uh no i i just saying i've had very different um how to put this. i when i see party in person is very different to what i see like through everyone else is in like the way the way you talk about him it makes me feel like uh He's he's got he he talks a big game um when when he wants to put it on a show. Uh-huh. I don't know how else to put it. And then yeah, and then when I talk to him Yeah, right. And then when I talk to him one on one, maybe he's just trying to butter me up to get me to that's, go to Wu Chang, yes, but it's a very is. different conversation. No, no, he right? when he's so one that's, when that's I've had what, conversations with him one on one, I agree with you. It's exactly the same thing. Mm. That that's just my my experience with the with them. But I again, I have, I also have, I'm probably more so with Party than the rest of the crew. But I also have a small relationship with Wu Chang. But Bella, if you've got more connects, definitely. No, both of you. Both I wouldn't say I have more connects. Uh, I mean, I just know a, a few people that would have some pull. I guess you can say. The problem, the problem I've always found with with them is. To me, we need a healthy music industry. They don't see it like that. They see it as we need a healthy Wu Chang. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just how it is, you know. So yeah, it it needs to like our all my, all our main focus is the same thing. So it needs to really be that and not mm -hmm. one or the other. But the problem is because they have ten thousand artists, they would rather fill their whatever show whatever show is ever going on has to be with that it has to be ten thousand of them you know uh-huh for the, win the part that i hate for winstock they were supposed to be three stages and like not one mdmr person was set up to be on the main stage uh originally on the original Shut yeah I wanted to talk to Winsong about it, but I didn't get a chance to before the show. It ended up being some people couldn't get off the train, so it, it was mostly the main stage. Raiden, you didn't get to perform for that, huh? I, I got... <laughs> I, I, I sent them a message about it. I got pushed to the... They split the stages at the very end for four artists because uh, times went over that they didn't account for. That's it, why which was 25 crazy. million fucking artists performing. Yeah, um, it was big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, uh, that's enough on Wu Chang. Like, I, I think we just, like you said, fix. We're, let's focus, focus on, on what we can do. Yeah. yeah. Let's, what is, what is the next, uh, not, not saying it has to be called this, but what's the next Burning Man then? Like, what are we doing to have like a big event that's like going to combat, uh, be our equivalent of of that day festival ish thing that they've already done or they've we've done in the past and how do we get that back like what are number we number one set we need date? new music like without mm -hmm. without new music it's pretty, i'm working on it like, i'm working no, on no, it I'm not, no no not but i'm saying like and it needs to be it needs to be every every big event that we do big event not pop-up show or little things like the, the the not i don't mean it's little but you know what i mean like the weekly, in terms yeah, yeah. of like the weekly stuff that can be your old songs that can be your old roster but like if we're gonna do 
a what i would call like a headline show and like a theme around it that's when we have to get all of the artists and say hey all of you need to bring at least one new song to this event mm -hmm. because there has to you have to want there has to be a reason for like people want to hear it you yeah. know yeah, like yeah. it's the same thing we did with intern idol exactly the same no way mm. check who oh i just saw that ava's away check who just okay okay so um, say I, know, I agree 100 100 percent agree my my thing here what have we what have we set all right we, we need to get some other stuff sorted first but my mind straight away goes to what if we set a halloween event and we have the artist write a halloween track yeah yeah i did that with wu chang that's my one song that i came out with with wu chang yeah let's oh, do it Ava just let's just do it we got the barrio blog party on the 27th the of next one of uh, October, so it's gonna okay, be our okay. little Halloween thing. What? Well, well, we, um, maybe have people bundle... in for that then. Yeah, yeah we yeah. could do, do that. We bundle in them and yeah, get, I was gonna try to do that. To actually, put some sort of get actually get them to do some like Halloween theme track plus just their original set. Well, I'll tell you what, let's like an extra... we'll start telling people about it today and have them. Try to get something ready for like the weekend before i would also throw an announcement in the emails just yeah. to be like all right so in case anyone who's uh, you know not not awake if they look at their phone they can be like oh okay we're doing this yeah mm -hmm. that's but, what i'm gonna do and give people a chance i think it's i think it would be good to have a collab to like one collab and one like it's just solo song. Mm -hmm. I think a collab would be fun. It, it was fun to work on the one that I did. So I think that would be pretty good. And it would probably pull some artists that haven't been very active into the mix too. Yeah, I'll let you guys iron out the details. Then you can just let me know. All right. And then I'll. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to. I'm happy to help in any way, shape, I can. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate it, fix. Really. All right. I'm going. So I'm gonna love you. Wait, go quick, on, quick, go conversation, yeah, yeah, please, please. conversations, conversations with what's next for you and MDMR. Do we need to get the board conversation sorted first, or you need to talk to who first? What's going on? I need to speak to SK. So wait until, I wait until. Give me like, give me another week probably. Like, at least I know that I'm welcome inside here, right? That's that's the main thing. Like I'm I'm welcome. I can speak, like I've been speaking now. Like obviously not out of place, but like I can speak, which is cool. Um. And then we'll go from there with 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 the sk stuff let's just let him play it out however he wants to mm -hmm. like you know he's a very interesting person um so we'll let him feel like he's in control of this whole thing even though we already mm -hmm. agreement that i'm coming back um, <laughs> <laughs> um but if it makes him him feel better and respect me a little bit more that can only be a good thing right so yeah um, yeah, yeah we'll that go sounds... with we'll go with that for that but yeah let's just like i say if i can help put things back in place let's let's do that let's do that and uh oh, yeah. yeah we'll figure out from that well i appreciate that greatly okie dokie amazing i think ava's gonna be coming down she texted me um, and she wants to talk so i'm just gonna get some food and then i'll be back all right all right it sounds good, all uh, good, all good. Food? Uh, uh i should be all good no i'm good thank you though all right so i'll wait to How's see ah uh, it's been going just Don't chilling go. today. Let me turn my radio back on. Oops. What you been working on? What you been up to? Um. Well, Mira came past the studio before. Yeah. Um. She went to bed and she didn't say much about like what she was doing, but she did show us like a track she's been doing for um a cover of Class, I think. Oh yeah yeah yeah! I heard it the other day. Yeah. So she showed us that one um just asked for some feedback on some things it said yeah check, probably needs to re-record on like some sections mm -hmm. um just to hit key and things but then uh, what else she showed us i don't know why but she wanted to re-record oh, versus shit, for one of her tracks on that's thing, already released insane. um yeah i'm not entirely sure if it's just a version two of the same song or what she wanted to do with it well i know she had had a fallen out with someone that was in one of her songs so that might be it Oh, with Winter. Yeah, oh. that's what it was. Oh, okay. 
that makes so much more sense now. 